Hello peasants of YouTube, welcome to another That's Just Joe video, my name's Joe and that's about it. So we've got some big, big DC news, big DC news. Well, is it news? Not quite sure yet. But anyway, um, as we know, Batgirl was unfortunately cancelled, it was shelved due to a tax write-off, it was financially not viable, test audiences didn't like the film, some did, some didn't, uh, but... Uh, ultimately the film was shelved and we'll never see the light of day it finished filming it was ready to go for graphics and post-production but uh yeah the new heads at warner brothers discovery decided goodbye batgirl and such a shame because we were all very excited to see leslie grace as batgirl obviously uh, but also to see these directors visions um and the directors obviously came out with a statement not long after it was cancelled oh it's not on here but they both were like yeah it's over but thank you for all the love and everything and obviously brendan fraser brendan fraser was gonna play firefly in it and obviously brendan fraser is on a huge comeback tour at the moment uh but but there is some news and it's some big news um, but there could be two reasons this particular thing is happening. Now, James Gunn is obviously now head of DC Studios, along with Peter Safran. And apparently, him and Peter Safran will be having a meeting with these two directors who directed Batgirl. Uh, apparently, a meeting has been set up. Uh, this is from The Hollywood Reporter. Fowler and Arby stated that they have not shut the door on working with Warner Brothers Discovery, which is a huge surprise, to be honest. Again, in the future, after the cancellation of the Batgirl film, the pair revealed that James Gunn, who, along with Peter Safran, was named co-CEO of D DC Studios, recently reached out to the two directors. There was so much support from people in the industry. It felt like all the artists were supporting us, and that's a great feeling because you feel like you're not alone. Arby added that while they have not yet met with Gunn to discuss any potential projects, a meeting between the two parties has been scheduled. So this could mean two, two things. One, the most likely thing is to sort of rebuild that relationship between um, the two directors and Warner Brothers and obviously the newly formed DC Studios and just see if there's any other projects in the pipeline they could do for TV or film. The other probably unlikely thing, and I'll go into why it's probably unlikely, is that Batgirl does get released either in cinemas, either on HBO Max, or it gets released as a limited TV show. Not quite sure how they go about it, because when Batgirl was cancelled, in order for a tax write-off to happen, to get the, you know reimbursed basically um the film can never ever be seen or distributed or anything i don't know what the ramifications are like going around that i'm not technical like that i'm not a businessman unfortunately uh but is it a possibility i don't know if you if you know a bit more information about why batgirl can't be released ever and it has to be shelved for tax reasons uh let me know in the comments below i'd really appreciate it but this is more likely to be rebuilding that relationship they had in the beginning. Um, and these two directors are fantastic. They really are. They did a great job of Miss Marvel. Um, apparently, they did a good job of Bad Boys for Life. I never saw it personally, but apparently it was a fantastic film uh, in terms of much fun and comedy and everything. So I was very much looking forward to Batgirl. My only concern is I wasn't a huge fan of the costume reveal. I wasn't a huge fan of what supposedly was the story. Um and how Michael Keaton played into it as Batman as well. Sounded all a bit complicated, to be honest, with Michael Keaton being Batman in this universe. But anyway, that's not the point. I think at the end of the day, a lot of hard work went into these films, and they should be released. And a lot of people now with this article are coming, oh, what about the David Ayer cut? No, no, no. no one cares about the Suicide Squad. <laughs> no one cares. We know what the other cut was. Um, Zack Snyder's Justice League was a bit different because all the charity work done for the Snyder cut and everything was absolutely fantastic, even though a minority of fans are uh, just horrible people. But we won't go into that um but yeah i mean this is big news considering um not much substance i mean could we see batgirl return uh, or you know she hasn't even started on screen but could we see this version of batgirl come to our screens in some way or form anyway let me know what you think of this news in the comments below make sure you like the video and subscribe and may the force be with you it's the wrong film